Thanks for checking out this video. So I decided I'm doing these kind of opinion videos and kind of my thoughts on this, that, or the other thing. So um, I got the kind of inspiration to do this particular video because, I mean, it's partially for me. It's partially for maybe some other people who kind of need to hear this or, um, you know, might hear it and see this and, and be able to relate to it. So there is that aspect to it. But I just wanted to put it out there to kind of show my appreciation for some things. Um, you know, we've all been having a hard time, uh, with the pandemic and everything. And, you know, where <laughs> my, um, my videos will usually seem like I'm, I'm doing a great job and really holding things together. That's not always the case. Uh, everyone goes through ups and downs, especially during this pandemic. And I just feel like horror, not just horror films and, and just watching horror films, but the community has kind of gotten me through a lot of this. And I kind of want to just take the time to acknowledge that and put this video out there because I know some other people may feel that as well. And I feel like we should kind of talk about that and, and at the least recognize that. You know, I've, I haven't been able to, you know, see my family in the in the way I want to in over a year and I know that's not that's not just me but there are things in life that help to <laughs> distract you from that you know that type of stuff and horror, horror has been that. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm in a good place, you know, like I, I, I've been working my job the whole time. I've been able to work from home and that's great. You know, I have a lot of things to be thankful for because I know there are a lot of people throughout this who have been through much worse stuff, much worse, but that doesn't mean that, you know, we all don't experience something. Because we do, no matter who you are. But if I can, you know, get it together, and I think it's important to see this as well, especially from, you know, someone who's a guy who's, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm into horror and, you know, I like watching violent things and stuff like that in film, but, you know, there's a, there's an emotional side and stuff like this definitely makes that happen. So that's important. But I really wanted to kind of, you know, voice my um, appreciation for just horror in general. See what other people out there have to say. You know, put some comments down there talking about it. You know, tell me how horror's gotten you through things. You know, obviously, you can see from my channel, I become even more active because of being home all the time. And being able to watch as many horror films as I can because there isn't a whole lot else going on. And that's the crux of how horror's been so great for me and how horror's been so great to me throughout this pandemic because it's allowed me the time to get lost, to, you know, <laughs> take my focus off of things that are tough and things that are different that I don't necessarily like or have to, you know, wait it out through. Because, I, you know, I know not everybody took, took this whole thing super seriously, but I'm the type of person who I've always been in that situation where, if there's a call to do the right thing or do certain things to try and help the greater good, that's me. Like, I'm going to do that. And if it, you know, takes some sacrifice, I'm going to do that. And I've done that. And, you know, like I said, you know, I, I am in a much better situation than a lot of people are. So, and I recognize that. And so I'm very, I'm still very thankful that I'm in the situation I am. So, um, I feel for the people who aren't in the situation I'm in, but at the same time, you know, I still feel for me and that's okay, you know, and we should all feel that way. So I guess, I guess in a way I'm trying to give some people permission to feel, to feel sad about things, to feel upset about things, 
but I also want people to be able to understand that you can distract yourself and also feel okay with that. You can, you know, bury yourself in horror films and, and realize that that's, that's a fine reaction to what's going on. And, you know, obviously that's what I've done. Like I was saying, you can see from my channel that my involvement in horror has just grown and a lot since this whole situation happened. You know, not only have I put up a lot more, um, videos i'm starting to branch out onto different types of videos and i started doing those watch parties actually i started doing live streams on youtube first and then i've moved to the watch parties which leads me to another thing is when i was talking about the role of the horror community with all of this i want to like give a shout out to some people who have been awesome who have been great in interacting with me on my channel in particular but mainly the people that i've you know were there for the live streaming and have been there for the watch parties in particular, which, you know, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, you're doing watch parties? Yeah, I'm still doing it. And everyone is welcome to, to join in because we're all kind of <laughs> distracting ourselves together. You know, it's 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 an opportunity for us to come together, watch horror together, and hang out and, and have that distraction. And that's every other Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, through the Scener. Uh, extension of Google Chrome, so you just need to have a Shutter um, account and create a Scener account, which is free, and you can do that. But um, you know, put some comments down there; I'll respond to you with that type of stuff. But there's also information on my channel. But anyway, so I want to put a shout out there to some of the people who've kind of been around and have really made me happier because of the interactions we've had. You know, being nerdy about horror. So you know, Christina Arntz. Uh, Uncle Pete, Blue Room, Rich Smith, Marshall Boy, um, Jesse, who's an, who's newer, Mike Guerra, you know, he's he's been around as well. Heather Santros, you know, you've been around as well. I hope I'm not missing any any of the main folks at the moment. If I am, I really do apologize, but I think I hit all the, the people who have been around the most. Um, so thank you to those people. I've had some great great interactions and I want to keep having those interactions with everyone, you know, and even if you're someone who's just dropped a comment here or there and I didn't say your name, you know, know that I do appreciate those comments. I try to make sure that I, you know, respond to all of them, but horror has been great. Um, and I want to hear from everyone else, you know, put in the comments, you know, how has horror gotten you through this and some of the films that have really gotten you through it in particular, is there anything you watched out there and really spoke to you. I mean, it's weird, but when the pandemic started and I wasn't going anywhere, some some of the things I I dove into most were were movies like The Shining, which like that's the probably one of the worst things to watch early on because it's about literally being isolated and shut in and not being able to go anywhere. But I found comfort in that. But, you know, that just goes actually a little bit back to just my my love of horror and why I'm into horror, it is, it helps me face my fears. It helps me deal with difficult things in life. And a lot of the times when I'm watching the difficulty that I'm having in my life on screen, that's what helps. And that's why I, I did in that situation, watch something like The Shining. Also, in addition, I just love The Shining, which, you know, why wouldn't anyone? Because it's, it's amazing. But yeah, so I want to hear those stories from you. You know, let's get therapeutic about this, honestly. That's fine. You know, put some comments down there. What's really gotten you through this? Has it been tough for you? Hopefully it hasn't. I, it would be great if some people are able to comment and be like, I actually haven't had a problem with this. It's been great. And there are things that have been great about this for me in particular, which is obviously having more time to do horror and more time to put into the channel as a good distraction. And, you know, the people I've met online through this that's been the best part the people i've met so i really appreciate all that and just also connecting with other horror related people on social media you know i'm in a joe bob briggs uh, appreciation group on facebook and some cool people i've met through that there are some trolls there too but you know you got to ignore those folks although i did have a really interesting situation where someone was being really mean to me on that facebook group and then through nothing, like I barely, I didn't even interact with the person. They just messaged me out of nowhere and said, you know what? That wasn't cool. And I feel bad about it. And I'm sorry. And I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome and pretty amazing. And then we had a back and forth conversation about horror movie recommendations. And it was really cool. So 
you never know. But um, Twitter, Twitter's been really good and positive as well. Some really cool people there. Evotre, Evotre's uh, little, um, she's been doing, I hope I said her first name right. I probably didn't, I apologize. She's been doing some really awesome stuff. Christina Arntz, who I already brought up, she's been doing great stuff. Which she has her own YouTube channel. Um, just search her name, Christina with a K. Arntz is A-R-N-T-Z. She's great. Um, she's really active on social media, so I've enjoyed watching her stuff. The Homicidal Homemaker, who's awesome. You know, Darcy from The Last Drive-In, she's been putting some great stuff up. Uh, Brianna Whipple, who is a writer and contributes to Rube Morgue Magazine, one of my favorites. Uh, the Faculty of Horror, Andrea Subasati, people like that. You know, just watching horror people. So, also just put some of your favorite horror folks down there. But, anyway, I feel like I've rambled, <laughs> rambled on too much about this. But, hopefully this has been helpful on some level. I don't want this to go too long. I feel like it's overstaying its welcome a little bit. So, I'm going to cut it off here. But, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to put this out there and... And it, like I said, it's partially for me because it's cathartic, but hopefully it's also helpful for someone out there. And you can say as much in the comments, but I do appreciate it. I'm not going to do my typical stuff at the end of this to be like subscribe and all that because it doesn't feel right for this tone. Uh, but know that I'm going to, I'm going to be putting up more, you know, my opinions, my thoughts, videos, and they're definitely going to be more um, passionate in a different way and more optimistic in a different way than this one is this one is just it's the right place right time and i needed to do this so thanks for watching this i really do appreciate that uh until next time keep it brutal